there. Well, let's get to another Ice Dance couple who we all know very well and who are actually returning next season. They're standing by with our Scott Russell. That's right, Andy. Two-time world champions, Olympic champions, Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer are on our team. We're glad to have them here. Hey, you remember your first world championships, don't you, Tessa? What was it? Back 2007, Tokyo. Excitement, right? That's right. Excitement and to say that there's pressure is an understatement. I mean, the magnitude of a world championship event with the cameras, the lights, the, the energy in the building, it's just electric, the crowd. So, you know, people really have to keep their nerves in check, that's for sure. And Scott, it comes at the end of a long season. You might have been to Asia a couple of times, mm -hmm. Europe, North America, but now's the time to get things done and make an impression, right? Totally. I mean, it has been a long year for these athletes. A lot of them have competed against each other a couple of times, but it's all about the World Championships. Everything leads up to this, so this is a huge event. You know, when you went to a major competition, the last question I want to ask you is about the preliminary competition, the short dance. There's not a lot of room to maneuver. You have to get it done. There are so few elements in the short dance and it's become so technical that they have to be very precise in order to really capitalize on all those points. Scott, you want to add to that? Well, totally. Yeah. I always found that you couldn't win the world championships in a short dance, but you definitely could get yourself in some trouble if you don't do well. All right. Tessa Virtue, Scott Moore, two-time world champions and the Olympic champions in the ice dance. Here's the good news, Andy. Canadians have been on the ice dance podium at 10 consecutive world championships. Goes back to Calgary, 2006. Andy? Hi, I'm Tessa Virtue. And I'm Scott Moyer. Here we are at the 2016 World Championships in Boston. Ooh, the world always brings a little bit of pressure. What's your favorite world championships, Tess? Ooh, that would have to be Gothenburg, Sweden in oh, 2008. We won the free dance and ended up second overall. My family was there. It just was such an... Such a highlight. We were young and innocent. <laughs> Weren't we? I think that's one of the first times I did that laugh cry thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> cry. So I was happy. so happy. Yeah. I think my and favorite yours? Worlds was 2013 in London. Skating in front of a hometown crowd. To have a Worlds in your own country is, is very special. Now, would you prefer to be the hunter or the hunted? Like, do you like going in as the underdog or do you want to be defending a title? Uh, oh, both are fun. I think I prefer being the hunted. It, I think it's more of a challenge. It's it's a lot harder, in my opinion. It is. Yeah. yeah. What about you? Oh, I'm the opposite. I like yeah. having something to chase. Got I that? like oh. going in oh. and having to prove something. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's why we make a good team. <laughs> How do you feel being here and not competing? Is it strange? Oh, just a little bit. I feel like I'm intruding on the athlete space, but right. it's so much fun to watch, and they're really good events. There's going to be so many great storylines, so that's really what I'm looking forward Absolutely. to. Absolutely. It's nice to be here and support. We're yeah. sure to see some amazing skating here this week. Go Canada. Tune in. <laughs> be him there. Let's head on over now to Scott Russell with another ice dance couple there, Tessa and Scott. Yeah, Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer, Andy. Yeah, this time they were observers in the cheap seats here at the Boston Garden. Uh, what did that? It's a pressure-filled competition. What did that make you feel like uh, watching this time? Well, it's a different perspective, that's for sure. But seeing how deep this field is, we sort of were just watching in awe and admiring all of the talent and you know if anything it's a reminder of just how much work we have ahead of us. <laughs> we're happy to be in the seats yeah. today <laughs> happy to be in the seats let's talk about caitlin weaver andrew poget they're in fourth mm. position right now not where they want to be and you're a little bit surprised that they're there right for sure very surprised it seemed like a confident skate i thought they came out poised they were really the, in a class of their own i love that program seem to have a lot of flow and we were very surprised by the judging. Yeah, what we love about Caitlin and Andrew is their command of the ice. You know, they really demand your attention and I think um, their style is so smooth and, and what maybe isn't noticed is how fast they are, how much ice they coverage and or they cover, sorry, and uh, we were surprised at the marks but obviously that's that technical side. I, I guess they must have lost a couple. All right, we got about 30 seconds left. Uh, one question for each of you. You've been behind after the short dance. What's the mindset you bring to the free dance trying to get back in top spot? Well, I think just reframing it is critical and moving on and thinking about tomorrow. They'll have a chance to take the ice again and practice and, and sort of get their legs back and realize, you know, this program, this free dance is a special one for them. They've competed it quite well all season, and I think it's their time to shine tomorrow. Not over yet. It right? is not over yet, exactly. I mean, they're only five points behind, just under five points. It's not over till it's over, and they can go out there and get it tomorrow still. Love that kind of attitude. Tessa Virtue and Scott Moore are part of our CBC team here at the World Championships in When we return on Road to the Olympic Games, speaking of world champions, Tess, there is Tessa Virtue, Scott Moore, who will be joining our Scott Russell next.
on CBC for 2016. Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer, two-time world champions, the Olympic champions in 2010. Oh, we have to talk about the ice dance first. And some surprising results in the short dance, particularly uh, with regard to where Caitlin Weaver and Andrew Poget stand, right? Yeah, that's right. The entire last flight really had us on the edge of our seats. There were some really emotional performances, but it all came down to that technical mark. And I think, you know, that's where you see some shifting in placement. Um, Scott, you have been behind, as they are now, at points in your career. And yet it is doable to get back on top. What's the mentality that you have to bring to that situation? Well, you really have to restart. And, you know, there are more points to be uh, to take home in the free section. So you have to make sure you come ready to go when it's not over yet. So I know they're not where they want to be, but there's still hope for Caitlin and Andrew to win the world title. I have to ask you one quick question about Patrick Chan, comeback season. <laughs> he looked pretty good in that short program. He had a little swagger. He looked great. I thought he was well composed and had confidence when he took the ice. We really enjoyed that program. Hanyu's good, but Chan's right in the game. Are you correct with that? Yeah, I mean, he is a bit back, but uh, he can do it. It's shitty. He can do anything. <laughs> All right. Thanks very much. Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer. The